been, uh, quote, resisting, if you want to use the defense characterization, or writhing, if you use the prosecutor's characterization, because at some point he really couldn't breathe and he was twisting, even trying to breathe through his fingertips uh, by pushing onto the tire. What do you think the jury feels about listening to this witness in light of the prior testimony? Linda, I think the state is losing this witness. And I understand you know, sometimes you have these folks that are white collar uh, defense attorneys or civil defense attorneys, and they conduct cross-examination like it's a deposition, but they just going very, very long with this witness. They're not getting a whole lot out of him. They, they did pour some key points, but obviously this is a stylistic preference. I would like to get in and out because at some point it's clear that even if Rod thinks George Floyd was resisting, he's no longer resisting and Chauvin's knee is still on his neck. So I understand the sort of surgical approach, but he's going much, much longer than the direct examination. And if I were Stephen here, I would get in, get out, and just be a little more precise in my questioning, score your points, then move on to the next witness. So what David, uh, what Nima is saying that he, and of course we've discussed stylism uh, in terms of the East and West Coast. Uh